Hey guys, it's Talon here, and uh, we're back in Mornell to record for the yep. next area. Don't you Look dare out. think about jumping on my head. <gasps> would I? You would. He said, knowing the answer. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this next area is... Um, Route 6, also known as Gatekeeper's Way. So previously we actually just came from this glitter, uh, well, this cave, and there is an issue we have to discuss with that. Um, Glimmering? Glimmering Cave is too similar to Glittering from Talos. Too so, it, you know what guys, here is your chance. You, you guys, rewrite the name. Please. Let us know what you think. You saw it in the last video. What do you think it actually sound, should sound like? And for those of you just catching on to this video, I'll leave a link for the last video so you guys can... Uh, yeah, but briefly, it's just an obsidian cave with... Really? Yeah. It it's pretty much looks like this the entire thing. I may have even taken a couple of ravines and changed it and put a little bit of white glass at the bottom of it. But yeah, really lovely mm -hmm. cave, but... Uh, <laughs> And actually... Shall we go down to Route 6 while we talk? Yeah, Route 6. So, this is actually... We're getting up to an area that um, we didn't build. Ooh. I mean, I built the path here, and actually this area needs flowers. Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, Gatekeeper's Way. It's called Gatekeeper's Way for a reason, because after getting out of that cave, you want to come to this area where you can, by all means, heal up your Pokemon, uh, buy a couple of items, and before you actually hit the main city. So, welcome to Gatekeeper's, uh, the Gatekeeper's um, place, and we're missing things. Um, input, input buildings here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we'll be right back with, um... Uh, yeah, Demon, care to do a commercial, and we'll come ba right back with some we'll speed be right back. building. Please, she'll mess. See you guys later. Introducing TNT, the new block from Mojang. This all-purpose block is capable of so much, it makes lovely pawns. Clears up untidy chests. It even helps your friend remodel his house. Act now, and you'll get this lava bucket absolutely free. You heard that right. For just five easy payments of twenty-five ninety-five. You too can have a stack of TNT and a lava bucket absolutely free. E. Just call now on 1-800-7777-TNT. That's 1-800-77-TNT. Our operators are standing by.
I hope you guys aren't as dizzy as I am uh, re <laughs> recording that. Oi, I had to build fast. It's fast. It's like you are on the run from TNT, which you can always buy at one 800 777 tnt by the way. I'm a Raiko. I run fast. I know. And I'm a pyromaniac. I like the boom. I know, to the point where you blew up this lovely house. Accidentally! I tried to open the door and apparently TNT just lit. That's, that does sound like I'm guilty, but I promise it was accidental for once. You ended up placing it on a block that was being powered I, I by redstone. Okay. Right. I will show you what I mean, come on. We can admire the scenery as soon as we get out, come on. Yeah, this is Bushy's house, and you blew it up! Oh, for goodness sake. Right. This, this, I went to open this door, and I placed TNT, and look. Yeah. This is, like, if that had been TNT, we'd, we would have lost the entire kitchen, the window, the upstairs, we know because it's saw attack. And the, yeah, and the, the stairs. Shock when that happened, oh my goodness. We lost part of the wall, yeah. I I I I, look, I saw it and I'm going no yeah, no not the TNT <laughs> and kaboom! It was bound to happen sooner or later. Yeah, and which as is... you see, everything is perfectly fine now. Good thing I had Mostly. a backup. Exactly. But we'll back up some. Yeah, because uh, yeah. when I, if you've been seeing the lovely icons I've been putting on the uh, videos, for my videos, I've been rendering them in a uh, Minecraft rendering program called Chunky. And for that, I've been transferring this world into my single player, so then I have more than one copy of this. What are you doing going upstairs? And I need, I need to use the bathroom. Wait, what? Hey, can I get some privacy? Here, I'll let you, you fall in. <laughs> hey, you, hey, you, I'm trying to use the toilet. Looks like the toilet's the hungry. Fine, me. Just, just gonna sit in here until it's. Until You're gonna use the tub? No, that's just. No. I was gonna, oh, I'm good. not a primitive. I was gonna say, that would get your clothing wet. Hmm. <laughs> I have a solution. Do, do, do. do I even want to know? Boop. Uh, averting eyes and leaving out the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to put my head in the pillow to, uh, or try to, to get that image out of my head. <laughs> oh good, you're closed. <laughs> so, I do believe there is one... What are you doing up there? I'm a... I, do you think Bushy will notice if... Some, if I if another flower joins her, her flower beds, she has so many. I doubt she'll notice. I was going to say, I didn't think you were a cat. Hey, I am offended by that statement. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were a wolf, she not a. <laughs> We have a lovely garden out here with, uh, that bushy made, and I, I like it, I love it, it's peaceful, and we have a spawner here? Yeah. Uh, if, if you do, uh, an, uh, I, uh, I what's great. Apparently. If you do a certain quest, Bushy's favorite Pokemon has a rare chance to spawn. No idea what the quest but is yet. Gonna, but yeah, and we're not going to tell you what Pokemon that is. All, only Bushy, Talon, and myself will know. 
And well, anyone else. who knows Bushy. Bushy. <laughs> and Bushy herself, if we included her. Yep. But yeah, this is this would be uh, Bushy's house as her uh, in here in uh, Mornil, her NPC family would be the ones who would own this house, and she would go to the uh, school for teaching. But yeah. Oops! I just threw a, my fishing line at the hey, door. Where you get back? Okay then. Ah! Watch where you throw that thing. <laughs> Well, you know, I could always bring out quillfish with thorns. And I have my usual response. Uh-huh. But yeah, um, you guys got to watch me in speed motion build these lovely little stalls, and you sort of got to see uh, I hope it wasn't too, too fast. I didn't want it to be that very long, but I had to compress, what was it, 49 minutes into 8 minutes, so... <laughs> yeah, it, uh... What I, will it be, sir? I wanted it to be shorter, but I didn't want it to, um... go on for that long, and yeah. But it's, it's difficult trying to find a um, happy medium between building, it's uh, speed building, and actually having it a decent time, and actually being able to see what you're speed building. <laughs> and believe me, even on my own, without speed building, I tend to build really fast. Once I get a pattern in my head, mm. I memorize it, and I can build it again whenever I want to. Yeah, while I was working on on writing a bit of a script for my advert that I made for fun, I was sitting on the top of Bushy's house just watching you build, and you were building very fast. <laughs> Wait, he's over there, no he's over there, no he's over here. Okay, are you really going to need to speed this up? You're building it so fast. Uh, yeah, I try and keep these videos at least, uh, at the most, uh, 20 minutes lo long, so... Just sort of a short video to let you enjoy it. I don't really want it to be too, too long. So, yeah. Let's go ahead on to the rest of um, Route, uh, Route 6. And, yeah, this little place, the uh, stalls, I do believe, were going to be little merchant places where you might be able to heal your Pokemon, get Pokeballs, get potions, maybe a quest item, and, ooh, I see a hint of something Ew. we built in the next city ahead. Ooh, like, pause the video if you need to, because this is the only chance you're going to get to see this until the next episode. Oh, and what a build it is, hey? <laughs> I, 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 I like that build very much, especially that one thing that it does when, <laughs> you, when you do this. Yes, and uh, that that build style's a little bit of a hint at uh, what, what the theme of the next city is. Ah, oh, and, and the, there, was a, there was a specific movie that may have influenced a few <laughs> of the structures. Yeah, one in, that in. actually has a sequel to it, so yeah, it's influenced a couple of the uh, designs for these structures. And also, the music you're hearing right now, I believe, if not right now, definitely at the beginning, uh, which is called Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Primal Dialga Battle. It comes from the uh, second set of uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, um, Darkness and Light, and... That's what I had in mind for the city ahead, but the city is one that when I built it, I had that song in mind, but uh, it just didn't really fit the finished product, so we had to change it. But it still fit for the gatekeeper's way. Yeah. Oh, and Colloquial City. A city that has such an annoyingly, annoyingly difficult name to pronounce. It took me ages to learn how to say it properly. But it, it fits. I feel that it fits with the what the city is. And actually, you were saying that um, Maroxy sounds like it fits for poison. It does. And palindrome for fairy. 
Mm -hmm. And like, colloquial city of insert type here. So yeah, I look forward to you guys trying to guess what type it is. Mm-hmm. I, I, like, d don't just spam any type you can think of. Like, put four in into it, and if you get it right, well, you get a gold star. But we'll, we'll, we'll mention you in the actual video where we explore yeah. Colloquial City, and I'll tell you when we explore it exactly what Colloquial is um, derived from, so... Mm -hmm. Bonus bonus points if you beat us to it in the comments and tell us what it is. <laughs> where, where, which literary term it comes from, because uh, it's a little different. But yeah, I think, ooh, we have a peaky hole! It's tidy because what you saw on the bridge is, is already plenty of a lovely little spoiler. So, admire it, admire it, <laughs> admire it. Yeah, and there's not I... much I can see. Ah, but yeah. Yeah, time's up. So yeah, I guess it's uh, time to uh, let you guys go, and we'll be uh, recording sometime later in the week. Ah, yes. Oh, uh, quick points to make. One, remember to name the, the cave. What, what names do you think might fit it? And also... If there's anything you want to ask us, we, we've been toying around a Q&A idea. So I just want to put this out there. If there's something you want to ask us, like put Q&A, then your question, and it's highly likely we'll answer it. Unless you're asking yep. for, for example, Talon's real name. His real name is Talon. Secret. Yeah, there you go. I, I'm... Yeah, something sort we of won't. not really... <laughs> Yeah, that, that, to get that information requires trust, and that's something I have slight issues with, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and everyone just calls me Brad because they can't read Demon above my head. You were formerly known as Pokemon Trainer Brad, so that's how I, I still have trouble <laughs> calling you Demon, so. Meh. <laughs> And with that, I'm going to say goodbye, guys. See you guys.